Hello there, my name is Jose Sandin, and we are over here at the University of East Anglia in beautiful Norfolk, enjoying this sunny summer day, and uh, it's the ideal day to talk to you uh, about the use of puppets in the classroom, particularly for the development and the teaching of oral skills uh, in children. And we'll focus in this particular characteristics. Hand puppets, finger puppets, and marionettes, they all spark the interest of children. Puppet theatres are important because they provide a safe place, so to speak, behind the curtain. And most children find them less intimidating for performing plays. When a child is able to talk through a puppet, suddenly sharing isn't so scary. Hence, one very effective way to develop language skills uh, with puppets is to role play to model oral language. One very simple way to devise your puppet uh, would be to use, say, color paper and uh, do a, make a snapdragon or a fortune teller. Then you glue it all together. You can draw stuff on it. You can glue other pieces of paper on it. And uh, that is how I came up with my friend. Mr. Bat, you should hear, you should listen to his Michael Caine impression impersonation. I get something along the lines of... Oh, hello there. My name is Michael Caine. I'm a, and I'm a nosy neighbor. And I know that you know that I know a thing or two about science class. See, there he is. Michael Caine with a Spanish accent. Miguel Caine. See, I really, really, really like him. Uh, we can use them for all sorts of activities, communicative skills, having the kids to talk to other kids and discuss stuff, role playing by the use of uh, small puppets that they can do on their own, uh, which is a, a very engaging activity. And uh, well, that's all, folks. Thanks for listening, and uh, hope to talk to you soon again.